Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we do this. Every time I press one, we get random colors. We're learning how to change materials or meshes. Let's start with colors and next we will do the textures. We will suffer from few problems while we are creating this. We will also address that. Let's bring a duplicate of this chair. So I already made a duplicate. It has nothing empty except for one and remember enable input when event begin play the only thing i did for this chair is changing the color so i made the material called material m mat has a color that is called base here and i made two material instances of that material and i assigned them here on the element zero and element one all right let's open our chair and let's get into it to keep things organized there is a shortcut called c it will make a comment box. I recommend doing this every time you make something that when you make any set of nodes that you describe what are they doing. So in this case, enable input noise. Let's go to the viewport here. See what do we have? We have our chair with the two materials on them and we want to change these two materials randomly. If you don't know again, you just search for one in the keyboard and you find this nice keyboard icon and search for the button you want. Let's click and drag from our chair here and it will get it for us. We need to search for something that has to do with the materials. If we change or search for material, set material, just like last tutorial, here we do have a material, but not the option to change color. So this is not we are looking for. What if set vector parameter value on materials? That's what could work. And why set vector parameter? Where did I bring this from? Well, if you open our material instance, this guy is a vector parameter. So we need to change this vector parameter to something else. Again, I'm going to search for anything that has to do with vector. Set vector parameter as value on materials. All right. So now if we press one and let's put print string node here, we know like when we press one, it's working. The parameter name here where it says none, we need to change this to the exact same parameter we have in our material that says base. So now the parameter value is XYZ000. That's a black. If you split struct bin to put whatever values we want, if we press compile, save, and hit play, if we press one, something is happening. You can see that in the background, but nothing is changing. So if we type here base on the parameter name, click compile, then click play when i hit one it's going to turn this into a block but it's not random how can we randomize this do you remember earlier these are floats if we search for random float let's make three copies of this because if you connect the same random float here we will only have a grayscale value when i click one we're having something between zero and one so it's only grayscale to change that we need to connect this guy here so now rg so we get stuff between these color spectrums and now if we add b blue we will get all the full uh, colors in the example i showed you earlier we were getting two different materials because this has two material ids and this is changing everything that's problem one and problem two let me see if i can reduce this now i'm gonna make multiple duplicates it's only affecting one chair even though we already agreed like this is supposed to be modular right so all of them are supposed to change together but they're not let's solve these problems one by one so it seems that set vector parameter value on materials is not our guy unfortunately we need to delete this what we need to do is to create dynamic material instance so if we click from our armchair and then search for dynamic creates a dynamic material instance for specific element index element 0 element 1 element 2 that's what we're looking for so let's connect this guy here and let's keep element index at 0 now and now it will ask us for the source material we need to select the source material which is the material instance we want to change so we need to assign this here mi color 1 and the optional name this we don't care about okay but there is still no option to input the colors because we need to drag out from the create dynamic material instance let's search for victor something so here we have set victor parameter value that's exactly what we're looking for the parameter name where it says none 
you remember this guy base the value here we can change it to whatever color we like so let's say this color yellow if you like bananas now <laughs> if we press one it's gonna change this guy to banana what about the other material element here so we have index 0 ID 0 or ID 1 and ID 2 this guy so we can simply ctrl C ctrl V this stuff before the other element if we right click our banana click on split struct pin so we can have floats we can now connect this float here here and here click compile click play just like that other example now random colors so now you guessed it if we connect this guy here and if we set source material and if we compile now we will get a problem because it needs a target so select this target connect it here let's just make it another random color so split structure bin click play yeah it's 100 percent working now we solved one problem we are able now to randomize our color on both material ids what about if we have multiple chairs like this where is the modularity in this yahya you tricking us or something <laughs> no i'm not i promise click play now only one of these chairs is going to work how can we solve this we need a way to tell unreal engine hey we have many actors of the same class in this project make a list of them keep them in your mind and perform the operation on all of them which is changing material in this case it's called for each loop let's go back to our blueprint delete the print string and now when pressed to get a reference or to list all these armchairs that we have across our project the first node we need to get is called get all actors of a class okay this will output an array object reference like this is all actors of class will be listed here now the actor of class we want it's this blueprint that we just made just click on it or search for it here what we need to do is getting another node from this exact pin let's click and drag and search for this for each loop and it has something to do with array similar to this out actors array of pp blueprint we had and now we connect this array to this array now things should work probably so if you connect this here oh, easy peasy let's delete this armchair for now because we're getting it from here and array element you can now attach it to our create dynamic material instance it's working and we can also connect it here now when we click compile save and go back to our level click play when we hit one it's going to work in your blueprint here you do that like this get all actors of class then you drag for each loop then from there you continue just like when you have one object I want to take a moment to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I can hardly think of a better fit for a sponsor on this channel. For those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. There are thousands of inspiring classes on topics including design, freelancing, filmmaking, YouTube success and more. I've been learning from Skillshare for the past two years on many topics like video editing, productivity, user interface design, and making healthy foods. There are two classes I recommend and I learned so much from when I started my YouTube channel. Build an authentic channel that's worth the follow with Sorel Amor. Script, shoot, and edit with your boy MKPHD. What I like about Skillshare is that it's cursored specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1000 of you guys to click the link in the description will get one month unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now I showed you how we can change vector colors on our material. We have a color here. But what if we actually don't have a color, but we have a texture, right? I'm gonna click T here to add a texture sample. And let's find a texture that could work for us. This could be, for example, and I'm going to multiply these two guys. 
and I'm gonna click save. Nice. The only thing we need to do on this texture sample is right click and convert to parameter so we can change it. And let's give it a name that we can remember later, like texture. Click save. Let's open back our blueprint here. You can see, oh, sorry about the ugliness, but it's okay. Let's go back and open our blueprint. And let's keep everything exactly as it is, but instead of changing the vector parameter value, we need to change the texture value. Let's keep button 1 for our color and 2 for our texture. So I'm gonna hit 2 on the keyboard, make a copy of this guy, do this, create another dynamic material instance, connect these two guys, let's just move these out of the way. And let me follow my own advice by hitting C. Press 1 to change colors. Okay. Now press 2 to change the texture. From create dynamic material instance, let's click and drag from this pin and search for texture. Again, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm assuming that if I wanted to change the texture, I would type texture with context sensitive enabled and hopefully the blueprint is going to help me. So if you disable this, we might find something we're looking for, but it may not work. Again, texture here, just make sure context sensitive is enabled. Texture, there are so many textures, but we need to be more specific or we can go to where it says rendering material. So now get texture parameter value, get by info, set texture parameter value. Hmm, that's what we want. Connect this to this, the parameter name, we called it texture. And the value is the value we can set. So we can choose any texture we like. So let's set any texture. Compile. Save. Now I'm going to hit play. And when I press 1, it's changing color randomly, just like we did before. Now I'm going to press 2. And it works. Easy peasy. Obviously we need better texture than this, but you get the idea. So your homework is to do all of this and to choose a nicer texture than me, okay? If you just duplicate this and instead of two, let's right click, hit three, connect this and let's hit four, connect this and let's just choose random textures. You will not choose random textures. I trust you will not. But for the sake of this tutorial, please forgive me. I am going to compile again, click play. And now when we press 1, we get this texture. When we press 2, we get this texture on that material ID. We press 3, another texture. And 4, another texture. 